Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to study the design of CMOS inverter. We know that CMOS inverter has complementary push-pull operating mode. Push means something which can push my output to zero, which is nothing but an NMOS. And pull means something which can pull my output to VDD, which is nothing but my PMOS. So both NMOS and PMOS are complementary to each other and hence we get a perfect zero and a perfect value of VDD. So in simple words, we get a complete output swing or full output swing in case of CMOS inverters. Because we get the full output voltage swings, the noise margin is relatively wide. That means CMOS inverters has good noise margin compared to any other load inverters. Now the challenging part for us as designers is to design the inverter threshold or the switching threshold for a desired value and technically the switching threshold or inverter threshold lies between 0 to VDD at the center that is VDD by 2 but that's an idle case. Now let's see how do we do this designing of CMOS inverter and in that specifically switching threshold. So in the previous clips we have seen that for switching threshold my NMOS and my PMOS both my transistors operate in saturation region. Let's quickly write the equation in saturation region for NMOS and PMOS that is Kn by 2 VGS minus VT the whole square for NMOS Kp by 2 VGS minus VTP the whole square for NMOS the suffix is N. Now let's rearrange these terms and take the square root and substitute VGS equal to V in for NMOS and for PMOS VGS equal to V in minus VDD and take the square roots. So after rearranging this is what I get V in minus VTN upon VGS which is nothing but for PMOS V in minus VDD minus VTP equal to square root Kp by Kn and you remember that the negative root will give me the correct value so the negative sign which is nothing but 1 by Kr because we know that Kr is nothing but Kn by Kp. Now let's go ahead V in is nothing but switching threshold so switching threshold minus the threshold voltage of NMOS transistor I'm going to take this negative sign here so that leaves my term as VDD plus VTP minus switching threshold equal to square root of 1 by KR. Now I'm going to square both the sides, squaring both the sides and getting equation in terms of KR. Let's quickly do this. We have already seen that the equation currently is 1 by KR equal to switching threshold minus the threshold voltage of NMOS upon VDD plus VTP minus the switching threshold. When I square it and get the equation in terms of Kr, what I get is Kr equal to Kn by Kp which in turn is equal to VDD plus VTP minus switching threshold upon switching threshold minus the threshold voltage of NMOS transistor. This is the whole square. Now recall what we have discussed in the previous clip that switching threshold ideally should be VDD by 2. So let's substitute this in this equation and see what happens. So Kr idle is equal to Kn by Kp idle equal to 0.5 VDD plus plus VTP upon 0.5 VDD minus VTN. This is into whole square. Now we know that the NMOS and PMOS transistors of CMOS inverter are fully complementary and in order to achieve a symmetric input output characteristic we can set the threshold voltages to be same. Remember I said we will set the threshold voltages of NMOS and PMOS transistors to be same and not the switching threshold. That means when I say that the threshold voltages are same in order to get the symmetric input and output characteristics it means that VTN is equal to mod of VTP. Now if we substitute this in the above equation why are we trying to do this first of all? In order to get input output symmetric characteristics and once we do that we get Kn by Kp for a symmetric inverter is nothing but substituting this in this equation we get 
k n by k p of a symmetric inverter equal to one. Now this brings a very important designing parameter for designers. Let's see what is that. 